Number 12. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> What's going on? Why is everyone laughing? We've all been in this prison for so long, we all know the same jokes. So rather than saying the whole story, we just yell out the number. Oh, okay. <laughs> number six. Why, why is no one laughing? No offense, but some people know how to tell a joke, and some people don't. No! Miss, this is a 65 miles per hour zone. Why are you going so slow? Oh. I thought I saw a sign that said 22, not 65. Oh, that's not the speed limit. That's the name of the highway that you're on. Oh, silly me. Thanks for letting me know. I'll be more careful now. Okay. Well, what's wrong with your passenger? Why does she look so scared? Oh, we just got off highway 231. Oh! Mommy, I'm full. Can I be done? Yeah, that's fine. I'd like you to take nine more bites because you're nine years old. Uh, okay. Mom, I think I've read enough of this book. Can I do something else now? I'd like you to read nine more pages because you're nine. <laughs> Fine. Luke, five more minutes and then it's time for bed. How about 30 more minutes? I'll give you nine more minutes because you're nine. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> I think that's enough cleaning for today. I'll finish the rest tomorrow. No, 37 more minutes, because you're 37. Hi, I'd like to buy that TV, please. Sorry, but I can't sell it to you. What? Why not? What's your name, miss? Olivia? Well, Olivia, we don't sell to blondes. I'm gonna show him. I'm gonna dye my hair and come back tomorrow. Hi, I'm a brunette, and I'd like to buy that TV, please. I'm sorry, but we don't sell to blondes. What? How did he know? Hi, I'd like to buy that TV, please. Olivia, I told you yesterday, we don't sell to blondes. How do you keep telling that it's me? I literally dyed my hair red. Because that's a microwave. Oh! Who knows George Washington? Luke, do you know George Washington? No, I don't. Hmm. How about you, Lesha? Do you know George Washington? I have no clue, miss. Come on, class. Does no one know George Washington? Oh, Jesse, do you know George Washington? What if he walked into the wrong classroom? Oh! Luke, I want you to use the word definitely in a sentence. The sky is definitely blue. Well, that's not entirely correct, because sometimes the sky is cloudy and gray. Hmm. Grass is definitely green. Actually, if grass doesn't get enough water, then it's brown. Miss, I have a question. Can a fart be wet? Uh, I don't think so. Then I definitely pooped my pants. No! Oh, you're awake. Where am I? What happened to my baby? No need to worry. You ended up falling into a coma for four months when you were pregnant, but you ended up having twins, a boy and a girl. Really? Where are they? Your brother's been looking after them, and he even named them. Oh no, not my brother. He's an idiot. He probably gave them the worst names. What did he name them? Uh, the girl is Denise. Oh, that's not that bad. What about the boy? The nephew. No! if you could spell the name of the restaurant. Um, M-M-I-C-K-D-N-A. Nope. Dad, can we go to Burger King today? Same as yesterday, only if you can spell it. B 
R R G R? Nope. Wrong already. Dad, I know where we're eating today. Can you spell it? I sure can. K F C. No! Can I get a large iced coffee, please? Mom, can you get me a cookie? We have cookies at home, sweetheart. We have coffee at home, too. M&M or chocolate chip? Chocolate chip. And a chocolate chip cookie, please. Hey, mister. Would you like some lemonade? How much are you charging? It's 10 cents for one brownie and $20 for one cup of lemonade. 20 bucks? You mean 20 cents, right? Nope, 20 bucks, mister. Do you want some? Look, you're too young to understand, but you can only charge what someone's willing to pay. Hmm. Nope, 20 bucks, mister. Okay, look, I studied economics at Harvard. I think I know a thing or two about business. And I'm telling you, you're losing money on the brownies and you're not gonna make any money from the lemonade when people could go a couple blocks down the street and get it for much cheaper. Mm -mm. 20 bucks, mister. <sighs> you know what? I give up. I guess this is the only way you're gonna learn. Here's 10 cents for a brownie. I bet it cost you more than that to make it. Okay. Oh. Wait a second. What is this? It tastes terrible. How do I get this taste out of my mouth? Do you want some lemonade? Welcome to my class, everybody. Hey, why are you late? Sorry, I was having trouble finding your class. Look, everyone, it's Mr. Ugly. <laughs> hey, kiddo, what's wrong? This girl at school keeps calling me ugly. What? Say this to her. Will that work? Just try it. Look, it's Mr. Ugly. Look, it's Miss Pretty. You see, we can both tell lies. Okay, class, do we have a Jesse? I don't know. Do we? Get out. Here. Wait, what? Yeah, that's me. That's not your name. And that's me. Fine. What about Up Down 28? Yep, that's me. Oh! <laughs> Dad, can I please go over to my friend's house? Uh, ask your mom. No, don't make me ask mom. She's gonna say no. Well, looks like you already knew the answer. Please, Dad. Sorry. How about if you fail this riddle, you have to take me. No, I'm not playing your little game. Why? Are you not smart enough? What? No. Fine. What's the riddle? Okay, repeat after me. Red. Red. Blue. Blue. Yellow. Yellow. What color is grass? Green. I said repeat after me. Oh! Mommy, what is that outside? Oh, that's the neighbor's new dog. Isn't he cute? Mom, the school book fair is today. Can you give me some money, please? Sure, honey. Let me see what I've got. Ooh. I know this isn't that much, but... Hopefully it's enough to get something. Oh, oh, what do you mean, Mom? Oh, this is perfect. Thank you so much. Mm. So good. Oh my gosh, kid. You're really addicted to those things, aren't you? What? I can't eat a chocolate bar? Hey, my dad wants to talk to you. What? Why? I'm not sure. Okay, uh, are you gonna come with me? He told me just you. Uh-oh. Hello, sir. Uh, you wanted to talk to me? I just wanted to let you know, whatever you do to my daughter, I will do to you. You got that? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, my dad's so rich, but he won't spend any money on me. Really? Ah, uh, that's a shame. You know what? I'll give you all the money in my bank account. Really? Aw, you're the sweetest. I can't believe it, Dad. 
Luke just gave me all the money in his bank account. He did? Oh! Mom, can I have a dollar? Mm, for what? I want to buy candy. Okay, you can grab it from my purse. I don't have any ones, so you can take a five and just give me the change after. Yay! Thank you so much, Mom. Okay, I've got it. I'll be back soon. Okay, be safe. I got my candy. Thank you so much, Mom. Great! Where's my change? There wasn't any change. What? But I gave you $5. Well, I grabbed something from your purse that had a one on it. Wait, what? All I had was fives and a hundreds. What did you buy? Well, I think they had a big sale because with one dollar, I bought all of that. <gasps> what are you chewing on, sir? I'm chewing on the cores that you find inside of apples. Oh, are there like some benefits to doing that? Why do you chew on them? Studies show that it promotes intelligence. Oh, really? I've never heard that before. I'd love to try it out. Can I have a few? Sure. I could give you four pieces, but it'll cost eight dollars. Here you go. Thank you. Wait. I just realized something. For eight dollars, I could have bought a whole lot more apples than four. You see? The cores are already working. Ah, that's disgusting, Luke. Quit it. That's it. I'm pulling into a gas station and getting some fresh air. Now's your chance to go to the bathroom, because if you do that again, I'm taking away your phone. Okay, okay. I won't do it again. Mom's never going to think this was me. Listen to this. <laughs> Luke, that's it. Give me your phone. Wait, Mom, it wasn't me. Press the play button on my phone. Mom's never gonna think this was me. Listen to this. <laughs> How dare you? Here's your phone back, Luke. You give me your phone instead. But Luke, how did you do that? It's an app called Reclip. It's constantly recording, and at any second, you can clip the last two minutes of conversation, and you can download it for free on the App Store. So you're 110 years old. Can you please tell me your secret to living so long? Was it maybe your diet, exercising, perhaps abstaining from something? Please, tell me. Mm, not really. I never cared for such things. I never did anything special. So then, what's the secret? Keeping my nerves safe. I've never once argued with a single person in my entire life. What? Over a hundred years and you've never once argued with anyone? I'm sorry, but that's impossible. Well, if you say so. Oh! Let go! You're drowning me! Why well, can't the blonde? Dial 911. I don't know, Mario. Why can't they? Because they can't find the number 11. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I've heard enough of your stupid blonde jokes. What makes you think the color of someone's hair has anything to do with who they are as a person? You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, I'm I'm am sorry I made you feel that way. Like I actually I actually apologize. I just want. Hey, you stay out of this, Mister. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the guy on your knee. Oh! I'm breaking up with you. What? Why? Well, to be honest, the captain of the football team asked me out. But you're with me. But he's the captain of the football team. So do you not like me then? No, I do. But I like him more. Oh. Okay. Hey, man. How are you feeling? Way better. That's really good to hear. Oh. Your ex is coming. Hey! How's it going? I actually broke up with the other guy because he treats me horrible. And I had a dream last night about you. Oh, really? What was it about? We were actually getting back together. Really? Yeah, really. Well, then keep dreaming. <laughs> Can I get 
two pairs of underwear, please? Only two pairs of underwear? Yep, I wear one while the other pair is in the wash. Can I get a uh, five pairs of underwear, please? Only five, huh? Yep, one pair for each day of the week, and then on the weekend, I go commando. <laughs> well, you're better than the last guy. Can I get seven pairs of underwear, please? Finally, someone who knows hygiene. I try my best, one for every day of the week, and then I wash them on Sunday. I'd like to get 12 pairs of underwear, please. Jeez, you must be really clean. Yep, that's me. Actually, hold on, let me make sure I counted correctly. January, February, March. Oh! Mom, Dad, are you guys good at math? I'd say I'm pretty good. Don't get me started, son. I was the best in my class. So this should be no problem for you guys. How old are you guys again? You should know this. I'm 35. And I'm 38. Now the question is, if you guys were born six years ago, how old would you guys be? I would be... 29. I would be 32. If you guys were born six years ago, how old would you guys be? I just said... 32. 29. <laughs> no! You guys would be six! <clears throat> Luke Robert Davidson. Yes? Grandma's on the phone and she wants to talk to you. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Hey honey, I'm just phoning to let you know that your cat died. <gasps> How cruel of you! How could you phone me and tell me that while I'm away on my trip? That's literally the worst thing you could tell me. You know how much that cat meant to me, right? Well, what did you want me to do? Well, the least you could have done was send me a text saying that the cat was on the roof, then a few days later send another text saying that the cat fell off the roof, then a few days after that Another text saying that the cat's in the hospital. And then a few days after that, one final text saying that the cat passed away. If you would have done that, I would have been prepared for it, and I would have taken it better. Okay, okay, I I'm sorry. I now, I now I know for next time. <sighs> Whatever. Do you guys have any bread? Unfortunately not. Do you guys have any bread? We don't. Do you guys have any bread? No, we don't. And if you ask me one more time, I'm gonna nail your beak into this table. Do you guys have any nails? No. Do you guys have any bread? No! <laughs> Boys, who drew on the wall upstairs? It was Jimmy. No, Mom, it was Luke. You think I would draw something like that? Mom, trust me, I saw Luke do it. It was Jimmy. It was Luke, I saw him do it. It was Luke? Yes, Mommy, I wouldn't lie. So it was Luke who made that beautiful drawing because whoever made it is gonna get a special gift. <laughs> Actually, it, it was me, Mom, it was me. I knew you would like it. I love it. And here's your gift. <laughs> Class, I'm just gonna run to the washroom, okay? Oh, but since you guys are doing a test, there will be absolutely no talking, okay? Okay. Do you know the answer to two? Thanks. Hey Luke, you better not tell the teacher I've been talking. Don't worry, I'm not a snitch. I actually use- Luke! 
What did I tell you guys? But miss, I, I wasn't talking. Enough with that. I heard you. Yeah, Luke was asking me for the answer to number two. Really? Luke, I want you at the principal's office right now. I didn't want to have to do this. Psst, do you know the answer to two? Oh, never mind. Jesse, principal's office right now. Luke, how did you do that? I used an app called Reclip. It lets you clip the last two minutes of conversation so you can do things like catch bullies and you can download it for free on the app store. Why are some of your hairs gray? <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's the easiest way of explaining this to a child? Well, you see, these are my sad hairs. Every time you make me sad, one of my hairs turn gray. Oh. Then what did you do to Grandma? <gasps> Dad, I'll give you a hundred dollars if you let me pour two bowls of water over your head. <sighs> you know what? I'll do it. <laughs> This is going to be the quickest 100 bucks I've ever made. Okay. Okay, hurry up! Are you going to pour the other one now? No. Oh! Ow! What was that for? I found a piece of paper in your jeans pocket with the name Betty Sue on it. Jeez, honey. Remember last week when I went to the track? Betty Sue is the name of the horse that I went there to bet on. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Forget this even happened. Wow, <sighs> what was that for this time? Your horse called. Dad, do you know where we are? No, but don't worry son. This is a good hunting learning experience for you. I'm gonna shoot in the air three times. That's the universal signal for help. <sighs> That's okay. No one must have been around. Let's try it again. Why don't you shoot this time? Are you sure? Okay. Huh. Okay, let, let me try one more time. But this time better work, because I'm down to my last arrow. I want to buy the fastest and flashiest car that you have. Well, this beast right here has 986 horsepower that will do 0 to 60 in just 2 seconds. Wow. I'll take it but I want a giant letter S painted on both sides. Yeah, that's no problem. But if you don't mind me asking, why? I want people to see me zoom past them and say, wow, look at that S car go. <gasps> water, please. Water. I need some water. I don't have any. I'm a tie salesman. Would you like to buy one? No, I need water, not a tie. I'm thirsty. Well, I just told you I don't have any. But if you go that way about 10 miles or so, there's a fancy restaurant that you can get some at. <sighs> What's wrong? Didn't you get water? They wouldn't let me in without a tie. No! Can I get a large iced coffee, please? Mom, can you get me a cookie? We have cookies at home, sweetheart. We have coffee at home, too. M&M or chocolate chip? Chocolate chip. And a chocolate chip cookie, please. Doctor, my wife can barely hear me. I want you to stand far away from her and ask her a question, then slowly move forward to see how far you are away when she responds. Okay, I'll try that. Hey, honey, what are you doing on the computer? Honey, what are you doing on the computer? What are you doing on the computer? What are you doing on the computer? For the fourth time, I'm looking at dinner recipes.
Hello, officer. Do you have any idea why I pulled you over today? No, I have no clue. Because you're driving in the carpool lane without any passengers. But I do have passengers. Oh yeah? Where are they? Check the trunk. <gasps> hey honey, can you please come over here? I've got this killer jigsaw puzzle, but I can't figure out how to get started. What is this supposed to be when it's finished? According to the box, it's supposed to be a rooster. A rooster? Sounds like fun. What? First of all, no matter what we do, there's no way we're gonna turn that into a rooster. Second of all, I want you to go relax on the couch for a bit and I'm gonna pour you a cup of tea. And then after that, let's put all these cornflakes back in the box. Stop playing subway surfers and do your chores. No, I'll do them later. Don't you remember what I told you? No phone until you're finished your chores. Doctor, I don't know what it is, but lately I've been passing gas like crazy, but they're silent and they don't stink. Hmm. I want you to take this three times a day and then come back and see me in a week. So, how are you feeling? Well, I'm still passing gas and they're really loud now, but at least they don't stink. Good. It looks like we fixed your hearing. Now let's work on your loss of smell. <gasps> I bet you a hundred dollars in drinks that I can jump off the balcony and be just fine. Sure, whatever. <laughs> There's a swimming pool underneath the balcony. <laughs> now you owe me a hundred dollars in drinks. I bet you a hundred dollars in drinks that I can jump off the balcony and be just fine. Sure, whatever. <laughs> hey! Don't you remember that guy from last week? I can't believe you fell for his trick again. And I can't believe he didn't notice that they drained the pool for cleaning. No! I'll stop playing. <laughs>
I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Which would you like to hear first? Um, tell me the good news. The good news is I got you some flowers. Aww, <laughs> thank you so much. The bad news is those are for your funeral. Oh! <gasps> You're awake. How long have I been asleep for? Almost 10 years. Holy. What time is it? Um, 6 a.m. Wake me up in an hour. <laughs> Ma'am, can I see your ID, please? What's that? You know, it's the thing in your purse with your picture on it. Oh! I'm so sorry, ma'am. If I knew you were a police officer, I would have never pulled you over. This is the captain speaking. We're all gonna die. No, 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 no! All of us will one day. No one knows when. <sighs> but it will probably be when we hit this mountain. <laughs> Anyone that thinks they're stupid, stand up. Oh, so you think you're stupid? No, I just felt bad that you were standing alone. No! Dad, spell fat. F-A-T? Now spell her. H-E-R. Okay, now what is it together? Fat her. <laughs> What's so funny? Are you sure? Yes, fat her. <laughs> spell it again. F-A-T-H-E-R. Fat her. What are you to me? I'm your father. Spell father. F A T H E R. Do you have eyes on the target? Yes, sir. The person on the right. He is my son. You are to protect him at all cost. He's my only son. Hello? <laughs> Can I just get a water, please? Sure thing. That's a fancy watch you got. Oh, this? This actually has the latest technology. It'll change the time to whatever country you're in. You can search the web on it. You can accept phone calls on it. And my favorite part is you can download movies on it. And then there's a projector that projects onto any flat surface, whatever movie you want. Wow, that's amazing. It probably costed a fortune, hey? It was a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? You're joking. I would have guessed way more. No, in fact, I'll sell it to you right now for $20 if you want. Done! I actually don't need the water anymore. Have a great day. Wait, sir! You forgot your suitcases. Suitcases? Oh! Those are the batteries. <gasps> Bye, Michael. Bye, Jeffrey. Bye, Ava. Thanks for the year, Mrs. Thomas. You could have told me better, but I passed, so it doesn't matter. Yes, yes. Hey, I forgot to introduce you to my little brother. He's gonna be in your class next year, and he's just like me. Oh! Hey mom, if you can guess what I wrote on my hand, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Okay, um, money. Try again. Luke? Try again. Pizza? Try again. Milk? Try again. McDonald's? Try again. Fortnite? Try again. I don't know. What does it say? It says, try again. Oh! Thank you so much for coming. Can you try to fix my computer, please? Fixed. So what was wrong? It was an ID10T error. An ID10T error? What is that? Just in case I have to fix it again. Haven't you heard of an ID10T error before? No. Write it down, and I think you'll figure it out. Hey Luke, did you sweep the floor yet? Not yet. Why not, man? It's not that hard. I know, but I get nothing out of it. Why don't I give you this Kit Kat bar when you finish? Deal! Luke, 
I thought I told you to clean the dishes. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it later. What if I give you another Kit Kat bar? Hey, Luke. I already shoveled the driveway. You're a smart man. And today, I have the new Kit Kat Pops. Where the heck even are we? I've got no clue and I'm even looking at the map. Why don't we ask that guy down there? Hey sir, where are we? You're in a hot air balloon. <laughs> He's definitely a math teacher. <laughs> Why do you say that? Well, first of all, it took him a while to come up with an answer. Second of all, the answer is logical. And third of all, is completely useless. No! Do you drink coffee? Yes, I do. How many per day? Usually three. And how much do you pay per coffee? Five dollars each. How long have you been drinking it? Uh, about 20 years. Three coffees per day equals $450 per month or $5,400 per year. In 20 years, that's $108,000. Yeah, sounds about right. Did you know if you put that money in a savings account that after interest, you'd have enough money to buy a plane? Do you drink coffee? No. Then where's your plane? Ask her. No, please don't tell me to ask mom. She's gonna say no. Well, it looks like you already know your answer. <sighs> but dad... Sorry. How about this? If you fail my riddle, you have to take me. Nope. Why? Are you not smart enough? No, that's not what I said. Fine. Let's do the riddle. Okay. Repeat after me. Red. Red. Blue. Blue. Yellow. Yellow. What color is grass? Green. I told you to repeat after me. Jesse? Jesse, are you okay? 911, what's your emergency? My friend is dead. What do I do? Calm down, sir. I can help. First, let's make sure he's actually dead. Now what? Oh! Hello? What do I do? Oh my gosh! There's a bear! Oh no! We're gonna die! What are you doing? That's not gonna help you outrun the bear, you know. Yeah, I know. I don't have to outrun the bear. I just have to outrun you. Oh! Yo, this is your son's kidnapper. My son? One, two. All my kids are here. No, you're missing one. I am? Yes, look. I just sent you a picture. Oh, I forgot about him. Yeah, so back to what I was saying. If you don't give me $100,000 by tomorrow, your son will die. What the? <laughs> I told you. Do you know what time it is? Uh, it's eight o'clock. Thank you, have a great night. <sighs> what? Hey, do you happen to know what time it is? <sighs> it's 8.15. Thanks, have a good one. <sighs> That's it. I don't know what time it is. I know, that's why I knocked. It's 8.27. Oh, hey man, thanks for that investment tip last month. I invested all my savings into it. Really? 
Yeah, you got me so excited on it that I even sold my house and moved back in with my parents so I could invest even more money into it. Well, when I told you about that, I wasn't recommending it. What do you mean? You did say it made you a millionaire, right? Yes, but I used to be a billionaire. <laughs> Why couldn't the blonde dial 911? Why? Because she couldn't find 11. <laughs> Guys, I've had enough of these blonde jokes. I want to tell you that this blonde went home last night and did something I bet none of you guys can do. I memorized the capital of every state. Oh, did you now? I find that very hard to believe. What's the capital of California? Psh, easy. C. <laughs> Jesse, can you spell the word before? Before. B E. P-H-O-R-E No, that's wrong. Can anyone else spell it? <laughs> that's easy. B-E-F-O-R-E Good job, Luke. Now use it in a sentence. Sure. Two plus two, before. <gasps> Luke, Auntie just got here from the airport, and I'd like you to come meet her new baby. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. You've grown so much since I saw you last. Yes, I did. <laughs> the baby looks so cute. How old is he? Thank you. He's 23 weeks old. Huh? She must be messing with me. Oh, I lost track of time. Can you tell me what time it is, Luke? Oh, yeah, of course. It's 5,321 seconds past two. <laughs> Son, I bet you $100 you can't guess this word. Okay, deal. What has four letters sometimes has nine, and never has five. I don't know. Here. Actually, wait. What do you mean, wait? I won fair and square. If I can turn your head over without touching it, I get to keep this. <laughs> That's impossible. Let's do it. Okay, stick out your hand. Okay. No, the other way. Oops. That's what you're scared about? They're harmless. Watch this. <laughs> Think again. <laughs> How much are the bananas? Two bananas for one dollar. I'll take two then. Here you go. Thank you. And uh, how much are the apples? The apples are also two for a dollar. Hmm. Can I swap the bananas for the apples? Sure. Here you go. Thank you so much. Hey, wait, you haven't paid for the apples. But I traded the bananas for the apples. Okay, then pay for the bananas. But I never bought the bananas. <gasps> Wake up, filthy. I'm a boy, what are you? Really? I don't believe you. Show me. Fine. Just wait until the nurse leaves the room. Okay. Okay, quick, show me. Look. Blue socks. <gasps> Hello? Hey, I'm at your house. Okay, I'll be right out. <sighs> what could he possibly be doing? Long. I'm just going to the bathroom, okay? I'll be out in two minutes. <sighs> Give me two minutes. Hello? Where are you? I left! Screw you! Why did you kill 88 people? Well, 
I was driving 60 miles per hour when all of a sudden I see two men start to use the crosswalk. So I slammed on my brakes, but they didn't work. And beside the road was a wedding party happening. So I either hit the two men or I run into the wedding party. You should have hit the two men. Exactly. After I hit the first man, the second man started running towards the wedding party, so I followed him. I can't believe we just did that. I know, right? Hey there, gentlemen. Oh, crap. Oh, uh, hey, hey, officer. We're on a search for two murderers. Oh, really? Um, l l let me ask my friend. Let's do it. Okay, officer. We'll take the job. <laughs> Again! <laughs> Again! <laughs> Again! <laughs> no more. Mom, Dad. Yes, sweetie? What's up? Meet my new boyfriend. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Hey, Jesse. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Get that filthy hand away from me. Mom, Dad, I'm going to my boyfriend's house. Honey, we'd actually like to talk to you about that. What do you mean? Honey, are you sure you really want to be with him? Yeah? Why? We don't really like your new boyfriend. He isn't very nice. If he's not nice, then why did prison release him early for good behavior? <laughs> 62, 63, 64. Jeez, Dad! You're rich! Can I get a hundred dollars? Not a chance. <sighs> okay, how about this? If I can make this write red, you give me a hundred dollars. But if I can't, then I'll give you a hundred dollars. This is going to be the easiest hundred dollars I've ever made. Deal. Hand it over. <laughs> oh, I made it just in time. Is no one sitting here? Nope. Who would ever miss the Super Bowl? Well, technically it's my wife's seat. We've been to the last five Super Bowls together, but sadly, she just passed away. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so sorry, that's terrible. But, don't you have any other family members who could have came with you? No, they're all at the funeral. <laughs> Can we get three tickets to the movie, please? Since your baby's so young, I'm only gonna charge you for two tickets. But, if your baby starts to cry, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave and we'll give you a full refund, okay? Thank you so much. And yeah, of course, we'll make sure he's quiet. Are you enjoying this movie? Because to me, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it sucks. Pinch the baby. Wake up, filthy. Dad, what are we doing at an adoption center? We're gonna adopt a child. So I'm gonna get a brother or a sister? Mm-hmm. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Hi, sir. How can I help you today? Hi, we're here to adopt a child. Aw, that's so nice. What's your email? <sighs> I can never remember mine. I'll give you my mom's. It's catlover123 at gmail.com. It looks like that one's already been registered. Oh, would you look at that? Wait. <laughs> the show's over, sir. It's time to leave. <laughs> Come on, man. We all just want to go home. <sighs> Sir, there's some drunk guy in the theater that won't leave. What should I do? Don't worry, you can go home. I'll take care of it. Hey, sir, it was a great show, but uh, all the actors have left now and we're trying to close up, so c can you please move? <sighs> Fine, I'm gonna call the police then. Hey there, buddy. Uh, what's your name? Luke. Luke? And where are you coming from, Luke? Uh, I fell.
from the balcony. That was the best Super Bowl I've ever watched. Did you like it, babe? Yeah, I really did, but I'm just a little confused. Why did they try to kill each other for 25 cents? What do you mean? Well, they flipped a coin, then one team got it, and for the rest of the game, all they did was yell, Get the quarterback! Welcome to the Apple Store. How can I help you today, sir? I'd like to get an iPhone. Okay, uh, do you have any idea which one you want? Well, I've never had one before, so whatever you think would be best for me. Hmm. I think this one would be perfect for you. Sure. Let's do it. All right, sir. All your contacts and everything should be on there. Oh, and you should try Siri since you've never had one before. Um, okay, yeah, uh... How do I look today, Siri? You look terrible. I suggest going to the gym. There must be a malfunction. Uh, what should I eat today for lunch? How about a salad? It might help you get in shape. <sighs> What's the best way to impress a girl? First, you should start by getting new clothes. Second, salad. Why does Siri keep insulting me? Sir, that's not Siri. You phoned your wife. Okay, now you're fresh out of university, so what kind of starting salary are you expecting? Mm, probably $500,000 per year, but maybe more. It would depend on what benefits I get. Well, what would you say to a benefits package of five weeks of holiday per year, free medical and dental care, a free gym membership, all your meals would be provided, and you'd even get a Lamborghini to drive as a company car? Wow, are you kidding? Yeah, but you started it. No! Doctor, I came as soon as I heard your voicemail. What's wrong? Oh, I have some bad news and some more bad news. Well, I guess give me the bad news. The bad news is you have one month to live. What? Well then, what's the other bad news? The other bad news is I sent that voicemail 30 days ago. No! Well, I better get going. I'll come visit again tomorrow, okay? Don't worry, darling. You won't have to deal with this for much longer. Bye. Hey, officer. You need to give my husband a break from working so hard. He's exhausted. <laughs> Are you kidding? All he does is eat, sleep, and stays in his cell. Don't lie to me. He told me he's been digging a tunnel for months. <gasps> Martha, I'd like to ride on that plane. I know, Joe, but that plane ride costs $10, and $10? is ten dollars. Martha, I'm 81 years old. If I don't ride in that plane this year, I may never get another chance. Joe, that plane ride costs ten dollars, and ten dollars is ten dollars. I'll make you guys a deal. I'll give you a ride in the plane, and if you stay quiet, it'll be free of charge. But if you say just one word, it'll be ten dollars. Deal! Man oh man, I did everything I could think of to get you guys to yell, but you didn't. Well, I was gonna say something when Martha fell out, but $10 is $10. Sorry, I just remembered I forgot to give you guys blame. Exhausted. How come? Did you not get a good sleep last night? No, I slept pretty good. I don't even think I woke up. Actually, 
My neighbor did knock on my door at 3 a.m. though, but I didn't answer. Really? Why would he do that? I'm not sure, but luckily I was still up playing the drums. <laughs> Hello? Clean your room. Help me! I'm over here! Don't you worry, pirate. You won't be stranded on this island for any longer. Actually, I'm not a pirate. Oh, really? Then what's with the wooden leg? Oh, I tried to swim off this island, but then a shark attacked me and bit off my leg, so I had to replace it with a plank of wood. Well, what about the hand? While I was out looking for food, a snake bit me, so I had to cut off my hand and replace it with this hook. Okay, but what about the eye patch? That's from seagull poop. Seagull poop makes you lose your eye? No, but it was my first day with the hook. <gasps> Mom! Dad! Look what I got on my math test! Wow, son! 90 out of 100? Good job! Let me see this. Son, did you add a zero to this? No. Son, I'm gonna ask you again. Did you add a zero yourself? No, Mom. I didn't add the zero. Okay, since you're not telling the truth, I'm gonna ground you for a month. No, Mom. Please, I swear, I didn't add the zero. This is your last chance. Tell me the truth. I didn't add the zero. I added the nine. No. Wake up, Sophie. Please, please, don't do this to me! Do you have any last words? Hey, what are you doing on there? I just cancelled my Wi-Fi. And what's that gonna do? My son should be here any second. Did you change your Wi-Fi pa- What's wrong, son? school for? Until you're 18 years old. Have fun at your first day of school, son. Daddy, can you please give my puppy a hug for me? You can hug him when you get home, son. Can you also give mommy a hug for me? Son, you can hug her when you get home, too. <laughs> Don't worry about it so much. You'll be fine. Just go on. Have fun. Question? What is it? You'll remember to come get me when I'm 18, right? You have three wishes. I wish I had a Lamborghini. You still have three wishes. Mom, there's 503 bricks on a plane, but one falls off. How many are left? 502? Okay, now how do you put an elephant in a fridge? Uh, you can't fit an elephant in a fridge. Just open the door, put the elephant in, and close it. Now how do you put a giraffe in a fridge? Open the door, put the giraffe in, and close it. No, open the door, take the elephant out, put the giraffe in, and then close it. The Lion King is having a birthday party, and all the animals are there except for one. Which one? Let me guess. The lion. No! The giraffe, because it's in the fridge. Oh, of course. Sally has to get across a large river where lots of alligators live. It's very dangerous, but she manages to get across safely. How? She... Stepped on the alligator's mouth. The alligators are at the party, but Sally dies anyway. How? She... Drowned? No! She got hit in the head by the flying brick.
Jesse. <laughs>